Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Come on, let's give God some praise in this place. You came today to worship. You came face to face. Come on, let's give him some praise in this place. How many people know that he deserves all the praise? He He deserves all the honor. He deserves all the glory. Hallelujah. We lift you up, Lord God. We magnify your name. Come on, y'all. We glorify your name. Father, you deserve it, Lord God. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Father, you deserve the praise today. And so we give you praise. We give you honor today. We honor your presence today, Lord God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for showing up for us today. Thank you for being in this place today. We give you glory, Lord God. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, be seated in the presence of the Lord today. I was out walking today, Kevin. Good to see everybody coming on Facebook and good to see you all in the house today. I was out walking this morning and I was just thanking God and giving God uh, honor for just just existing come yes, on somebody yes. anybody ever just gave god some honor just for existing amen. just for just still being here amen. amen i'm just grateful for just still being here Thank you, and Father. still being in his, in his presence yes. amen I, I remember i was thinking this morning first lady and you look good you look Thank good you, right back and, at you. and i was thinking this morning that when um we were about um uh we had just started this ministry the ministry turned 15 uh in December. And so we just started the ministry. 
and I was thinking uh, this morning, Melissa, about all of the people over the last few years, all of the ministries that have quit. Come on. Come on. Can I just, y'all all right? Come on. Can I talk? Can I just be? Yes. And so I was thinking about all of the ministries that have quit, that said, you know what? I just can't do this. I can't do It's too hard. I can't do the technology. It's too hard. The people not coming. I just can't. It's just too hard. And so many people, so many pastors just threw in the towel, First Lady, Amen. and they just quit. Amen. They walked away from it. And I was thinking this morning, Brother Charles, I was thinking, I said, you know, um, I remember the moment. I remember, a, I should say a moment. I remember a moment when I wanted to quit. Come on. I Come remember on, a moment when I wanted to quit. We were, we were early Amen. in the ministry, and we were, uh, we were uh, putting all of the stereo equipment in a trailer. <laughs> it was in a trailer. And we would uh, uh, load the trailer up. I would load the trailer up. First lady wasn't loading up nothing. I would load the trailer up, and then in the morning, we would, I would hitch the trailer up to the SUV. Amen. And then we would drive to church. And then we will unload, set up, do Sunday school, preach, break down, reload, bring it home, unload, and pass out. And I remember one day, it's talking about wanting to quit. I remember one day it was cold and it was ice outside. And, and you remember this. And we were coming down our street, our subdivision. And the trailer and the truck started to slide sideways. Start sli it started sliding sideways. I was heading toward a mailbox. And I said, Jesus, Jesus, what is this? And we stopped at the curb. And we sat there for a second. And then we came on. And it was that night. I said, Lord, is this what you want me to do? Is this what you want me to do? Amen. And I wanted, Charles, I wanted to quit. But the Lord said, if you don't quit today, you ain't never going to quit. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 And so we just thank God. I thank God. And so, you know, so we've been through it. Amen. And it hasn't been easy. But God. Amen. I but think I God. took up some of your time. That's Come on. all right. That's Hold all on. right. Because it's never, we can never give God praise too much. We can nev never acknowledge how he's kept us and brought us not just through a pandemic, but just like our pastor has said, right from the beginning, he's just kept us, kept us in the faith, kept us in the word. Amen. And so I just want to welcome everyone. Just again, praise the Lord. Welcome to Antioch's online um, real-time worship experience. Uh, we do have face-to-face -face offerings now. We're uh, back um, doing that for a while and just getting used to being back in the space and uh, if you're comfortable without a mask, don't wear your mask. If you want to wear your mask, wear your mask. Um, because, again, it's about making you comfortable. And we realize that we've been away from each other for a long, long time. And so we want to just be comfortable as we come back together. So it is so wonderful just to see everyone um, in the sanctuary today. And I just want to start with... Um, uh, just as a reminder, we do this every Sunday that um, our motto here at Antioch is that we are empowered by love. Edified by faith. And committed. And committed. Come on, excellence. help us, y'all. Committed to excellence. Amen. So Amen. let's go right to our psalm. Now, the Lord has put on my heart for the summer to just really camp out with the 23rd Psalm. You know, there's a whole lot of things going on right now. You would think that the pandemic would be enough, but it just seems like there's one thing after another. And I tell you, some of these shootings have really, especially when it comes to the children, it has kind of got behind the veil for me because my heart is so with the kids. So the Lord has me focusing this summer on the 23rd Psalm. So we're just going to break it down in bite-sized pieces and see what the Lord is saying with this Psalm. So it says, I'm just going to read verse one today. It says, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes. I shall, not, I shall want. not want. The Lord is my shepherd, my leader, my guide, and I shall not want. And this word want means uh, a lack of deficiency or something. So if we replace that back in this scripture, it says that the Lord is my leader and my guide, and I shall not lack 
or be deficient in anything. Let that just minister to you, saints. Amen. Let it minister. And I go right to um, Philippians 4.19. Ooh. It says, and my God will meet, will supply all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Yes. Isn't that a good word for us mm -hmm. to hold on to? Yes. Amen. So let us keep these reminders this summer about this psalm. Let us remind them for ourselves. And also, as our kids are out of school, let us begin to give them little bits and pieces of that reminder too so that they know that he's not just our shepherd yes. but he's their shepherd too amen? he is their shepherd Praise too God. Amen. amen amen hallelujah i mean i mean people people look and they say you know what they say they say pastor your 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 children are successful what did y'all do we pray with them amen 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 we pray with them amen sometimes we got to just pray with our children whether they are whether they are uh, uh, grade school teenage college, even post-college. Pray with your family. Amen? Amen. Pray with your family. Ain't that right, Dr. Keezy? Amen. Amen. I like to say that. I'm going to say that a lot. Amen. <laughs> Dr. Keezy. Amen. 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 We got Praise the doctor the in the house. Amen. Praise the Lord. We Praise got some medical Lord. doctors in this church. Ooh, we got glory. some lawyers that on. have been birthed in Come this on. church. Come on. We got some PhDs that yes. have been birthed Yes. right here at Antioch. Amen. Amen. Praise God for that. I ain't talking about they came in Come afterwards. On. Come on. I'm talking about they was, they was right here. Tapped into that word. Rising up. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. Amen. So let's go ahead and pray. Will you all stand with us? Stand with us, Facebook Live. We're going to the throne of yes. grace to obtain mercy yes, in Lord. our time of need. Yes. Let's go corporately as a body. Yes. Father God, merciful yes. Father God, merciful creator God. of heaven and earth and my, all my, that my. is in the sea. Yes. This is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for eternal salvation that only comes through your son, Jesus Christ. Yes. We praise you for those that will come to accept you or be restored to you as a result of this broadcast, Father God. We magnify you. We glorify you. We lift up your holy and righteous name. We bless and adore you. We are in awe of you. Your righteous kingdom, yes. peace and joy come. Your will be done that all will be saved and none will be lost, oh God. And we thank you for every seed that is sown in this ministry, Father God. Yes, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father, for financial seeds, for prayers, for words of encouragement, for gifts and talents, Lord God. And Father God, we pray over each person and family that Luke 6 and 38, that manifest in their home, that you will pour out blessings, Lord God, and opportunities for them that overflow and overtake them that they don't have. needs met through you father so father have your way in this place yes lord jesus have your way Hallelujah. take over each heart father god take over each home represented lord god uh, on facebook live yes and have your way be with our pastor lord god as he brings a ready word father that will encourage that will challenge and will change your people forever and we give you all the glory the honor and the praise for it now let every heart say amen. Amen. Let me just Hallelujah. let me just put this on. I, I got to get this off of me. Amen. We just pray for Sister Ann's family when they're home going, Lord God. Today, we just pray for them. Amen. And we lift our brother Daniels before you, Lord God. Yes. We pray, Lord God, First Peter 2 and 24, that says, by your stripes that he's healed and made whole. I pray amen. for the family members that are uh, gathering, those that are praying for him and praying with him today, yes, Lord God. Yes. We pray for our sister, Sister Harris, Lord God, that you would just strengthen her, yes, Lord God. Yes, yes, Father. Strengthen her body from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Give her the words to say for her family in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Come on, be seated in the presence of the Lord if Hallelujah. you can. Amen. Come on, come on, y'all. Let's give God some praise in this place if you can. Hallelujah. They, they, for some, for some people say, what, what, 
what were you just, what did you just do right there, Pastor? Somebody put it on the, in the Facebook chat to pray for their family members. So I just wanted to pray and just get that off of us. Amen. <laughs> I, hey, listen, I told them in, in Sunday uh, Bible study on Wednesday that sometimes people will see me in the store. They'd be, you know, I've always been approachable. And so people will approach me and say, hey, hey, would you pray for me? If you're bold enough to ask me to pray for you at, in Kroger, I'm bold enough to pray for you in Kroger. Amen. 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 I'll pray for you right there in Kroger. I say, well, let's pray right now. Right now? Right yeah, right now. now. Right now. We're going to pray right Let's now. Touch and agree. Right now. Right, right now. by the meat section. Right by the chicken wings. We're right. about to pray right now. <laughs> well, like said, no. Amen. Amen. They what else we got for us? We're about to get some chickens. Like, ooh, I just feel it. Feel it. The Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. <laughs> That chicken is holy. Amen. That chicken is righteous. Amen. Amen. What we got first? We want to do some birthday shout outs for our June uh, birthdays. Amen. Uh, on the 6th, we have Catherine Neal, Austin Gibson, Bert O'Berry, and Bishop Cheryl Brown. Yeah. The 7th is Drew Franklin. The 10th is Sean Wisdom. Uh, tomorrow, on the 13th, we have Gertha Dodson, yes. Blair Singleton, yes. and Jill Johnson. Yes. On the 14th, we have Devon uh, Brown, the 15th, Summer Wembley. The 17th is our very own daddy, Edward Thomas Sr. Uh, on the 18th, Ariel Jackson. The 20th is Kennedy Mitchell. The 22nd is our daughter, Tamara Rocha. Yes. And then on the 29th is Madison Dotson. Amen. So do we have any June birthdays that, that are either here with us today that we didn't call out? Any June birthdays? Yes. Charles, Charles in Philly. Amen. Amen. And what's the date? The 1st of June. June 1st. Okay, Amen. June 1st. All right. All right, Charles uh, Jr. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And then we have our um, our graduates that Amen. we're going to be celebrating today. Yeah. Let's, yes. uh, let's, uh, ben, all right. you have your hand up? June what? Okay, oh, we will 3rd. get you covered September. Amen. Amen. We got what Amen. we want. let's do this first, lady. Okay. Let's finish up these announcements real quick. Everybody knows what they are. Prayer, you know what prayer is. You know the food pantry. Y'all know that. Amen. And so I wanna, uh, I wanna just uh, dash through that real quick and get back to the uh, graduations because we have a graduate here today. Amen. 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 And she has all her uh, uh, regalia on today. All right. And so let's let's. Um, Let's go down to our graduations. What you got first, lady? Amen. So our first graduate. Go through graduate, your high schools. And yeah, we'll start with our high school. We have Maria King, yeah. who is graduating from East Lansing High School. Uh, she's going to be attending Lansing Community College yes. uh, in the fall, and she is pursuing interior design. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let's see who else do we have. We Amen. have another high school graduate, Aaron Moore. Yes. Uh, he's a graduate of Grand Ledge High School. Uh, the college is undecided at this time, but he is interested in media productions. Yes. Okay. And then let's move on to our college graduates. Um, Dominic. Dominic Mason is actually in the Wisconsin area now starting uh, his new position. Uh, he graduated from Central Michigan University. I saw a central hat being rocked today uh, in the congregation. Oh. Amen. And uh, his study was marketing and logistics. He was a double major as well as customer service and logistics. Amen. And then we have another college graduate, uh, L'Oreal Salter Dotson from the University of Detroit Mercy. Um, she um, actually has already started her photography business. She's been doing that for a few years. Uh, she's made, she majored in um, uh, media and communications. And then we have... Live and in person. Amen. Amen. Deacon Mason, I need some help. I Amen. need some help real quick. Uh, well, actually, we, we we good. Come on up, Dr. Farmer. We have Dr. Kesey Jones Farmer. Come on up, come on up, Dr. Farmer. Wayne State <laughs> University. And she is um, now a medical doctor. We're going to have you come and step on this second step right here, just right here in the center. We want the people to be able to lay eyes on you. So. <laughs> It's okay. We're not, we're not gonna make you say too much. But can you get the um, thing off so that they can lay eyes on her? Amen. 
Amen. Amen. All right. So here is Dr. Kesey Jones Farmer. We wanted to make sure that our Facebook Live people could lay eyes on her. Yes. Um, so you want to just, um, you can take it from here, Pastor. Amen. This is, this is from Wayne State University. Amen. And I don't want to, listen, she went to school, did all that schooling. Uh, I want her to at least say something to you guys. Just say something this morning. Go ahead, Dr. Jo Dr. Jo Jones Farmer, whatever you want to say. Well, it is an honor to be here today. It's an honor to be able to say that I'm a doctor at this point. I'm just overwhelmed with joy. And everyone out there that, that truly has a dream to become a doctor or whatever it is you're trying to do, get it, work hard, be determined. Wait, say that again. Hold that mic up real close and say that again. Don't let anybody tell you that you cannot do it <laughs> because you can. And all you have to do is believe. Just ask God to reveal to you what it is that he wants you to do. Yes. All right. He will do that. Yes. When it's time. Yes. And when he feels you're ready. Come yes. on. And all you have to do is just wait on him and yes. continue to work at your dream and your craft and it will definitely come true. Okay, I'm just real quick, it. just real quick, so Dr. Dr. Farmer, just real quick. When did you start? When did you finish? Because I need them to, I need them to see the timeline. Well, my, my story is a little different. I, I know, <laughs> we know. Come on. Uh, my actual first application to med school was in 1999. When? That was my actual first application to med school in 1999, and I did not gain admission. Yes. Um, and I was heartbroken, extremely heartbroken. Getting those rejection letters are, they take a, they chip at you. They really come on, chip come at on. your confidence. They chip yes. at everything that you thought you were able to do or that you were or whoever you thought you were, it just kind of chips away at you. And what I can tell you is don't give up. Have your pity party and then just keep working at it. Just keep working at it. And I'm living proof. And so... Uh, I did apply again. Let's just fast forward. This is a, l a very long story, so I'm not going to bore you with all of those details. Oh, we're going to have you back for that. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> but uh, my official uh, application was for uh, to start in 2016 is when I started uh, medical school. And so um, here I am now. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Come on, let's give God some praise. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, God bless you. We're very, very proud of you. Amen. Very, very proud of you. Very proud of you. Come on, y'all. Amen. We are very, very proud. Come on, let's send some hearts up out there. Let's send some love. We got a doctor in the house. Amen. Hallelujah. So we thank God. We thank God for her. Let's, let's, y'all ready to give? The Bible says, given it shall be given. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. It says this, that men will do what? Give into your bosom. Watch this. It's better to give than it is to receive. Amen. We thank God for uh, each and every one of you and, and your ability to sow. Amen. You got to get a revelation on sowing into the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 You're not sowing into a uh, pastor. You're not even really sowing into Antioch Church. We're just the vessel. Amen. You're sowing into the kingdom of God. What God wants to see is can he trust you with the income that he has provided for you? All right. Amen. All right. He won't know. Can I trust you? Amen. And so we want to make sure that God can trust us so that he keeps giving on to us. It shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press, press down, down. Shaking, shaking together. together running running over. over. Men will Men give into your, your bosom. If you want to if you want to sow by cash app, you may do so. It's a capital A N money sign. Capital A N T I O C H. 5430, or you can send it to uh, PayPal, that's uh, uh, the website, www.antiochoflancing.org, or you can just do old school P.O. Box 80346. If you're in the house, we have envelopes in the back, and all we ask you to do is just go ahead and drop it in the envelope, amen, and put it in the back like old school church used to do. You ain't got to march around or nothing like that. Just go on back there, drop it in, and it will, uh, it will get taken care of, amen? Amen. Come on, stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. People are giving. One thing about it, if, if you're watching this broadcast 
at 3 o'clock in the morning or you watching this broadcast on a Friday afternoon, whenever you're watching this broadcast, you can still give. Amen? It doesn't have to be Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. You can still give. Amen? Amen? Matter of fact, I woke up this morning and I gave this morning. I said, I, I need to get this out of the way. So I woke up and I did my cash app on this morning. Amen? And yes, I do. I, I sow. I believe in sowing. Amen. Come on, let's just lift your offering up to the Lord. And just repeat this after me. Say, Father God. Father God. I bless you. I bless you. With this offering. With this offering. And I say thank you. And I say thank you. For trusting me. For trusting me. With this seed. With this seed. Lord. Lord. I sow my seed. I sow my seed. By faith. By faith. And I fully expect. And I fully expect. A 100 fold return. A 100 fold return. On my giving. On my giving. Lord. Lord. I live. I live to give, to give in Jesus' in name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Whatever you have need Thank of, you, Father. whatever you have need of, Thank you for speak that into the people. atmosphere. Whether Thank it's a, increase, whether it's it, it's 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 health, rent, it's a car, healing, whatever it is, finances, speak it into the atmosphere. Whether it's your health, health speak it Thank into you. the atmosphere. Thank Say this you. seed is a seed for Thank that. You. Amen. I can't tell you we what to, I, I don't know what to pray for. We say thank you. For I don't know what all. to pray for. Amen. Be yes. seated in the presence of the Lord if you can. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Just want a real quick, um, just a um, reminder that uh, the 4th of July, um, we, we um, don't do the pantry that weekend. So our next pantry food pantry distribution will be on July the 9th. Um, instead of July the 2nd because of July, the holiday. Yeah, July Amen. 9th. Okay. Amen. Right, praise God. Amen. We thank God for all the pantry workers, all the volunteers, uh, everybody who gives into the pantry. Amen. All right, y'all, turn with me to Philippians chapter number four. Let's go to Philippians chapter number four. And then let's take a look at verse number four through seven. Philippians chapter four. We're going to take a look at verse 4 through 7. Very familiar passage of scripture, but very appropriate for the time in which we're living in now. Amen. We need a word. Amen. Amen. We need a word from the Lord. Amen. How many people need a word from the Lord? I don't know about y'all. I don't mess around with this thing. I need a word from God. Amen. And, and many times I will go home and I will listen to uh, the word that the Lord uses to speak through me. Uh, I'll listen to it myself, and, and man, I'll be standing up shouting and running around saying, ooh, boy, that boy can preach. Who is that? Oh, that's me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, stand to your feet, y'all. Y'all know what to do. We've been doing this for 15 years. Y'all know what to do. We're going we're gonna to read uh, 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 Philippians chapter 4. We're going to take a look at verse number 4 through 7. 4 through 7. Y'all ready? He says, rejoice in the Lord always, and again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you for this word today. I pray, Lord God, that this word lights up the path of the believer. I pray, Lord God, none of me, but I pray, Lord God, all of thee. Pray, Lord God, for the hearers, that they would take this word and that they would hide it in their hearts so that they might not sin against thee. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, let every heart say amen. Amen. Now, somebody say this. Say, this is my word. Now, whatever you're working with, whether you're on an electronic device or whether you got your old school Bible, say, this is my word. Say, if I receive this word with my mind only, then this word is dead to me. But if I receive this word with my spirit over my mind, then this word is life to me. I do not need any religious form or fashion. I need life in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Somebody put this in the chat and somebody say this out loud before you sit down. Say peace within. Come on, say it one more time. Say peace within. Amen. Be seated in the presence of the Lord if you can. I, I was watching. I'm not into the message yet. I'm just, I just need to get this off out of me. I was watching uh, 
Dr. Uh, Farmer Jones, I was watching uh, her medical, uh, Jones Farmer, she said, I was watching her medical graduation, graduating from med school. I watched it. Amen? She sent out the invitation, and I watched it. Amen? Because many of, many of us have never seen someone graduate from medical school, let alone somebody that you know. Amen? So when she sent that out, man, I don't care what I'm doing. I'm just going to, I stopped, and I watched it. And what happened to me was it really changed my life. It really did. It changed my life because, because so many of the people that were talking, Brother Van, so many people that were sharing, their story is different. This class that graduated, their story is different. That They're not the same run-of-the-mill medical doctors that finished in the past. This is, what, this is the way the Lord gave it to me, Kesey. These pandemic doctors. Y'all ain't said nothing. These are pandemic doctors. These, these students that graduated were raised under the pandemic. They went to school under the pandemic. Classmates got sick, some probably died. Faculty members got sick, some probably died. That group of doctors was volunteering in the epicenter of the virus in Detroit. Many of them was down there volunteering, swiping noses and, and donning equipment that we knew nothing about. We didn't know about it. Come on, somebody. We didn't know about it, but they was down in the, in the heart of it. Yeah, that's the group that just graduated. That, that's, the group, that's, the group, that's the group right now that they stood up and they were talking about the disparency in, in, in medical uh, services. That's what their discussion was. They wasn't celebrating. They were talking about service. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. This message today is talking about peace within. It's talking about peace within. Paul is presenting his final exhortation and his final address to the church at Philippi. The first thing that Paul tells the church is to rejoice. Somebody say rejoice. Rejoice. And then he says it again. He says, again, I say rejoice. Y'all going to help me preach. The extra emphasis signals the importance of rejoicing. I hope that y'all, uh, uh, that, that opening that I just gave, I hope that opening didn't discourage y'all. I hope that opening really encouraged you to know that you got a group of people that care. You got a group of medical doctors, the new ones, man, they care. They care. They're going to look at you and say, what's your condition? They care. That's time for rejoicing. How many people know that to rejoice is to celebrate? Not just celebrating, but we celebrate the life of Christ. I'm going to preach this thing, y'all. I feel good today. We're celebrating his life. How many people, how many people know that, that to celebrate means that we are, we are rejoicing at the fact that Christ was born? We're rejoicing, First Lady, in the fact that Christ died. But we're rejoicing in the fact that he rose up out of the grave with all power in his hand. We celebrate because we know that he lives. Somebody help me preach, say he lives. Come on, somebody help me preach, say he lives. And the Bible says that he ever lives to make intercession for you and for me. We rejoice because we have salvation through Christ. Do I have any saved folks in the house today? I'm still an old school preacher, and I believe in the blood. I believe in salvation. Come on, somebody. I know that God will give us money and finances. I get that. But salvation, mm, mm, mm. we can't stop with salvation. We can't, we can't just say, oh, this, this I'm going over there. Why? Because he talked about I'm going to be a millionaire. Now, you need to go somewhere where they're talking about your soul. 
we celebrate the fact that our sins have been forgiven. Old things are passed away, and all things have become new. We celebrate because the joy of the Lord is our strength. We celebrate because we have joy that can't no man give and can't no man take away. Boy, I wish I had some folks that knew how to celebrate. We celebrate because we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Y'all didn't hear that. See, see, some of us, some of us, some of us was watching and, and we was thinking about some of the goals in our life. When, 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 when Dr. Farmer Jones was talking, we were thinking about some of the goals in our life that we did not accomplish. But I stopped by to tell somebody today, that's a testimony that I can do all things through Christ that strength. If I just hold on and don't give up, we celebrate because we know that without Christ, we're nothing. This is what Paul said. He said this, Melissa. He said, I say rejoice. We used to sing a song, an old, old school song years ago. Y'all remember? I got joy, 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 joy. Come on, where? Down in my heart? Down in my heart. Huh? We got joy down in our heart. I, I love this, this next verse because this next verse really begins to bring it home. He said, verse 5 says, let your moderation be known unto all men because he says, let your, somebody say, let your, let your moderation. The, the, the new international version translated like this, it says, let your gentleness. Mm -hmm. We celebrate. Why? Why do we celebrate, Pastor? Because we got a gentle Savior. We, we got a gentle Savior, and this gentle Savior has placed that gentleness on the inside of each and every one of us. I feel this thing, y'all. See we, see, we are believers, and we're gentle. Somebody say, I'm gentle. See, see believers are gentle. Believers are, are kind. Believers, they're not all mean and surly. Y'all ain't said nothing. Y'all ain't said nothing. Y'all remember the old school saints? Some of them old school saints, man, they, whew. They was mean and surly. Y'all ain't said nothing. I don't know why they was so mean and surly. Why y'all, why you acting like that? I came to worship. I came to give God some praise. They, they turn around and look at you, boy. Come on, somebody. But we serve a gentle God. Somebody say gentle. See, believers have a humble spirit. Believers are kind, huh? I said, believers are slow to anger. Y'all still with me? Believers are slow to point fingers at people. Believers are slow to look down their nose at folks. Huh? See, watch this. We feel, we feel that, that, that believers understand that they're not greater than somebody and somebody is lesser than them. See, we, we, we're gentle. We got a gentle spirit. Don't, 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 don't move from your place of gentleness. And don't let nobody knock you off your gentle perch. Are y'all still with me? Watch this. This is what Paul does. He assures the church that Christ is at hand because Christ is at hand. And this is what he says. He says, don't worry. I came to give somebody a message today. Don't worry. Don't be anxious about anything. Watch this, Brother Christian. Don't worry. See, that's a word for somebody today. This, 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 this is going to be a great summer. Y'all ain't said nothing. I said this is going to be a great summer. Why? Because we're not going to worry. Somebody said, I ain't going to worry this summer. See, we worrying and stressing over stuff that you can't change. How you, you going to worry about something that you can't change? I, I noticed that some people, they, 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 they think, you know, sometimes people, they, they, they worry about whether or not they can pull game over other people's eyes. Y'all know, know what game is? They try to outslick ya. Come on, y'all ever seen that? See, y'all better, better listen to me. We, 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 we coming, we, we coming out, of a, out of a pandemic, but a lot of people haven't worked in a long time. And so if you're working, you drawing pensions and stuff like that, there's going to be the folk that don't work, they're going to try to outslick you. They'll try, to get to, they'll try to get your money. They're going to try to get your money out of your pocket into their pocket. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Don't, don't, don't worry. God is giving you some discernment. He's giving you some discernment. I know that people think that they, they can, they can outslick the preacher. They think that I can outslick the clergy. 
They, they think that the clergy doesn't understand their, their, their tricks. They think because you say that you don't understand their tricks, the devil is a liar. Uh-huh. You, you know what their schemes are. You know what their lies are. You know what their deception is. Don't, 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 don't worry about it. Why? Because God's got it all under control. Y'all hear what I'm saying? See, God positions you to be in people's life to pray for folks. Even folks that try to despitefully use you, God has positioned you to pray for them. Preach, Thomas. Somebody write this in the chat. Say, don't worry. Right there, right in that chat. Say, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. God's going to work it out. Huh? God's going to work it out. All right? I got two things. I'm going to get out of your way. I know y'all want to go enjoy this day. Beautiful day outside. Amen? Watch this. Peace. We're talking about peace within. So watch this. Our number one thing is peace with others. Peace with others. Verse number seven says, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding. Amen. Watch this. Peace is defined as a state of tranquility or wholeness. To be tranquil means to be calm. So peace is to be calm. Therefore, peace has a sense of calmness to it. Uh, where are you in your life? Where are you the calmest at in your life? Some athletes will tell you, I, I, I'm the most calm when I'm on the court, or I'm the most calm when, when I'm on the field. I, I tell y'all, I'm the most calm when I'm standing before God's people. Hmm? Calmness. Where are you the most calmness at? I remember a preacher out of Detroit. His name was Reverend Dr. Uh, Frederick Sampson. Y'all remember, some of my Detroit people remember Dr. Sampson, uh, pa uh, Tabernacle Baptist Church out of, out of Detroit. And, and Dr. Sampson, in one of his messages one time, he was telling us about this story. And he, he said that, that, that this woman came to church, and she was an old mother, and she would come to church, and she would get right uh, 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 on the front row. And, and Dr. Sampson said, every Sunday, now if you, if you knew anything about Dr. Sampson, you knew Dr. Sampson was very dynamic. He was a dynamic preacher, always was preaching about Aristotle and, and Socrates, and he was just a, a very cerebral uh, preacher, and, 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 and so he was very captivating. But this woman would come every Sunday to his church, and she would sit down, and when he got up to preach, she'd fall asleep. And she was, and apparently it was noticeable. She cutting up some wood, right? And so the leaders got mad about it. And the leaders came to Dr. Sampson and said, every Sunday, pastor, every Sunday, pastor, she falls asleep and she's right in your face. What you going to do about it? He said, nothing. They said, what? He said, nothing. He said, why ain't you going to do something about it? He said, because you don't know where she's come from. He said, this might be the most sound 45 minutes of sleep that she done got all week long. Y'all ain't said nothing. Where are you most comfortable at? Somebody say peace. Peace, peace. As believers, the joy is to express joy without fail. Our task is to find joy within. And our task is to harbor that place of peace. I just want to. I just want to. I just want to preach to somebody today. We got to understand that this peace that's on the inside has got to be delivered to those on the outside. Man has a tendency to focus on our exteriors. We focus on the outside. But how many people know that that what God does is God looks at what's on the inside. We, uh, we, we focus on appearance and how a person looks. Do they, do they look the part? Do they, do they dress the part? But the truth of the matter is, God is looking at your heart. Mm-hmm, I feel good today. The disciples, they, 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 they start criticizing. Uh, 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 the story goes, they were criticizing uh, uh, someone and what they were eating. And, and then Jesus jumped on, on, on uh, uh, into the discussion. And he said to them, he said, he said it's not what goes inside the man that defiles him? He said, what defiles the man is what comes out of the man. 
So in other words, he's talking about what comes out of one's heart. What's on your heart? What's on your heart? Folks, folks, folks looked apart, but they got, they got words on their heart. They got words that are coming out their mouth that, that are not pleasing unto the Lord. In Bible study, we've been studying and, and talking about Jonah, and, and God gave Jonah an assignment. God told Jonah, I want you to go down to Nineveh, but Jonah's jumped in a boat and went to Tarsus. Huh? He's not doing the assignment that God told him to do. And watch this. And then all of a sudden, God caused a storm. I know we don't like that. We don't, we don't, we don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear that sometime God will cause a storm. When you're not doing what you're supposed to do, God can cause a storm. Huh? Jonah was not doing the assignment, and, and the storm arose. And, 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 and watch this. He, if Jonah, watch this. This is what the Lord gave me, y'all. If Jonah was doing the assignment that he was supposed to be doing, he wouldn't have been nowhere near the storm. Y'all missed that. Because he wasn't doing what he was supposed to do, he found himself in the middle of the storm. But if he would have been doing what he was supposed to do, he would have been with him. Somebody say peace, 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 peace. Peace with God. When we have peace with God, then peace with others becomes a norm and not an exception. See, see, if Jonah had peace with God, then, then when he got on that boat, everybody around would have had peace. But because Jonah didn't have peace with God, he got on that boat and everybody else experienced a storm. I'm getting close to where I want to be, y'all. The peace of God travels beyond man's knowledge. The peace of God travels beyond man's comprehension. Somebody put this in the comment, I'm good with you. Put that in the comment. Somebody say that out loud. Say, I'm good with you. Do you know, you know, Brother Van, you know why I'm good with you? Because I'm good with me. Y'all ain't said nothing. See, see, you can be good with other people, Brother Christian, when you're good with yourself. When you got peace with yourself, you can have peace with other people. Preach, Thomas. I'm at peace with myself. I'm at peace with myself. Because, because now that I'm at peace with myself, I'm at peace with my brother. I'm at peace with my sister. I'm at peace with my family members. I'm at peace. You Why? Because I'm at peace with me. Even if you got some family members that always raise in sand. Y'all know what I always say? You could pick your teeth. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. Y'all ain't saying that. You, you, can, you can put your finger up and drink all the sophisticated tea you want. Invite your family. Them suckers come in drinking out the bowl. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, people looking at you like, this your, these your people? I thought you were sophisticated. Well, <laughs> come on, somebody. But you can be at peace even with them when you're at peace with you. Y'all still with me? Okay, let me give you this. I'm done. Number, number two, I'm done. Write this down, peace within. I'm almost done. And then verse number seven says, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and your mind through Christ Jesus. My heart is fixed, and my mind is made up. Anybody got a made-up mind today? I wish I had some witnesses. Anybody in Facebook got a made-up mind today? Paul's final exhortation, it, it, it says this. It says, and that the God of peace passes all knowledge. Here's where we go home, y'all. Somebody say this. Say, peace has power. Y'all get that? Come on, write that down and get and, 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 and put and get and get it a little bit later. Peace has power. Write that in the chat. Are they following me in the chat? Y'all still with me in the chat? Write that in the in, in the write that in the chat. Peace has power. Someone put that in the chat. That peace has power. Amen. Watch this. Watch this. If we yield to the power of peace, then the peace of God will set your atmosphere. 
Okay, y'all will get that in a minute. Let me let that sink in for a minute. Let it, let it die just for a minute. Watch this. Watch this. When you have peace with God, then peace will set your atmosphere. Your atmosphere, wherever you, wherever you carry yourself, that peace going to set that. When we invite the Lord into our hearts, it permeates our very being. Huh? So, so, so when you're traveling through life, folk know that you're a believer. Why? Because you got peace of God on the inside. They say, why aren't you getting upset? Because I got peace with God. Somebody say, uh, that was an evil doctor's report. But why aren't you upset that, that you got that evil doctor's report? Because I got peace with God. I'm all right with God. Amen. Hallelujah. See, 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 old school used to say it like this. Old school used to say it like that. He walks with me. Man, I feel good, y'all. Old school used to say, he walks with me. He talks with me. He tells me that I'm his own. See, when you have peace with God, you know that God is walking with you. You know that he's talking with you. Huh? And you know that he's already told you that you're, you're his own. Huh? Watch us. Everywhere we go, we have peace with God. I stopped by to tell somebody this today, that the same peace that's at place in your heart is the same peace that fills your home. Are y'all still here? I said, that's the same peace. It ain't no different peace. It's the same peace. The same peace that's in your heart is the same peace that's filling up your home. How many people know when you have peace with God that you, that, that folk can walk through the doors of your house and sense the peace and presence of God? They say, there's something different about this place. And they start talking different to you. Huh? They start talking different to you. You could, you, could bring a, you could bring a mechanic in. You could bring a plumber in your house. And the plumber can sense the presence of God. Somebody say, I got peace with God. See, that same peace that will fill your home, that same peace will fill your job. Y'all ain't saying nothing. That same peace will fill the church. That same peace. Somebody say, the same peace. The same peace will fill your neighborhood. Somebody say, the same peace. That same peace will fill your space. It's the same peace. It's the same peace. It's the same peace that's with you and present with you right now. Somebody say peace within. See, you got to have some peace within. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't let, write that in the comments. You got to have peace within. You got to have peace within. You cannot, don't let nobody damage your peace. Mm-hmm. That's why Paul says it like this. Paul says, don't worry. Y'all still with me? I'm almost done. He says, don't worry. Why? Because when you worry, you push out peace. Did y'all get that? When you start worrying, you start pushing out peace. If you're not careful, you will allow worry to dominate your thought life. You just worry it. Just worry, worrying about stuff. Well, I don't want this gonna happen. I don't want this gonna happen. I don't want this gonna happen. You can listen. Have you ever worried about something, and then at the end of the day, none of that stuff that you worried about came to pass? Y'all ain't saying nothing. You just worried about you worried about this, and you were you worried about being late. I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be late, and you worried about it, and you worried about it, and you get there, and ain't nobody there. Or better yet, you worried about being late and you showed up on the wrong day. Hmm? Don't let worry dominate your thought life. That place where peace was, where, where peace was, if you're not careful, worry will occupy that space. Don't worry. Huh? You can't invite worry into that space. In his final exhortation, Paul says it like this to the churches. He says, he says, he says, you got to get your church right. Amen. And then he says this. He says, he said, you got to get the heart. He's talking to the churches at Philippi. He says, we got to get the heart of the churches right. Then he says, we got to get this atmosphere right. And then Paul says it like this at the end, y'all. He says, now we got to get our minds right. I'm almost done, y'all. I'm, I'm really almost done. He says, he's in verse number eight. 
This way it finishes up in verse number eight. I preached out of here before. He said, verse number eight, he says, finally, my brother. It's the final exhortation. He says, finally, my brother, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are, are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there any praise, he said, think on these things. Watch this. The peace of God allows your mind to be at peace with whatever is true. Y'all hear me? Even if you don't like what's true, the peace of God will allow your mind to be at peace. Whatever is honest, your mind. Whatever is just, he allows your mind. Whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, he allows your mind to be at peace. Whatever is of good report, whatever is virtuous, whatever is praiseworthy. This is what Paul is telling us. He's telling us that the peace of God within allows our minds the ability to think on these things. Preach, Thomas. I've been talking all year about arising and shining. I'm done, y'all. Arising and shining. It's, it, we said, I said, arise, shine. The light has come. Arise, Antioch. Arise. Let the peace of God shine in your life. Shine, Antioch. Let the peace of God fill your space. Let it have your, let it have its place this summer. Somebody needs that, somebody that, that's in your life is troubled. They need you to, to, to come in and give them a sense of peace. Sometimes you ain't got to say nothing, but just your presence will fill the place with peace. Somebody in your house is sick and, and they need to be, they need the presence of healing. They need that peace so that they can heal. Who's going through, whoever's going through right now, God sent me by here to tell you today that the joy of the Lord is your strength. And you got to understand something, that because you got the joy of the Lord on your side, he said, I shall rejoice. Why are we rejoicing, Pastor? Because I got peace on the inside. And ain't no man give it and can't no man take it away. I got peace on the inside. I got joy on the inside because God is on my side. And because God is on my side, I know that I am a winner. Somebody say, I'm a winner. Somebody say, I, 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 I've been delivered. Say, I've been set free. Say, you don't know what I've been through. See, you listen, listen, folk on your road, they don't know what you've been through. They don't, they don't know how you were struggling and, 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 and turmoil was, was exercising itself in your mind and, and in your heart. They don't know what you've been through, but God has given you some peace. In the midst of that storm, it's peace. I remember when the disciples was on a boat, we're going home right here. I remember when the disciples was on a boat and, 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 and it was a raging storm, and, and all of a sudden, Jesus rose, and, and Jesus said, peace, be still. Somebody ought, to just, somebody ought to just say that out loud today. Somebody say, peace, be still. In the midst of your storm, peace, be still. The doors of the church are open. You come as a camp for baptism. You come on your own Christian experience. Somebody say, peace within. Anybody have that peace within? I said, does anybody have that peace within? Exercise that place of peace. Amen. When you get that phone call, when you get that phone call, and now we all got called an ID, you get that phone call, and it's little junior. You take that deep breath. And then you start to make that decision, am I going to take this call? Hmm? Make sure that the peace of God coach you and then when you say hello now you can have a conversation y'all all right those at the church are open you come as a camp for baptism or you come on your own christian experience come on stand to your feet if you're at home stand to your feet you may come you may come peace within peace within peace within trey peace within peace within pooch you got peace within Peace within. I got peace, 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 peace. Come on. 
you need to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life, you may come forward at this time. If you're at home, you may just take a couple of steps in front of your device and just as an act of faith, you may come. You may come as an act of faith. You may come. Pray this prayer with me. Say, Father God. Say, Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Come into my life. Come into my life. Lord. Lord. You said in your word. You said in your word. If I confess with my mouth. If I confess with my mouth. And believe in my heart. And believe in my heart. That I shall be saved. That I shall be saved. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Come into my heart today. Come into my heart today. Have free reign. Have free reign. In my life today. In my life. Jesus, Jesus, thank you, thank you for saving me, for saving me, and delivering me, and delivering me in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. If you prayed that prayer for the first time, DM me today. Yes. DM me and say, Pastor, I prayed that prayer for the first time. I gave my life to the Lord. Amen. Listen, allow the peace of God. He just, it's, it's just, it's going to begin to come over your heart. It's going to begin coming to your life. Yes. He's going to settle you down. Thank you, Lord. That's the peace of God. Amen. 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 God bless y'all. I ain't got no music to, 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 to tantalize you. you. I ain't got no music to tantalize you. Nothing like that. Amen. All I, all I have is the word of God Amen. today. Amen. That's what we need. Did y'all receive anything today? Yes. Did y'all get anything on Facebook church? Y'all got something today? Amen. 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 Peace. Peace with God. Peace with God. Peace within. Amen. Peace with others. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. You want, that's it? Or you got something? Got something? <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. Listen, that's all we have. May the God of peace rest on you. Keep you safe. In Jesus' name, that is my prayer. God bless you Amen. guys. I love you guys. Have a blessed have a week, everyone. Love y'all. Bye-bye.